What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the New York Rangers franchise mode. Last episode, we went through the our second year playoffs, and we had a memorable run to the Stanley Cup final. But the St. Louis Blues, who had a crazy playoff run, swept us in the final. And um, what I mean by that, by crazy playoff run, if you come to the player stats... Actually, we don't even have to do the player stats. Let's come over to the playoff tree. If I'm not mistaken, St. Louis, one loss in the first round, one loss in the second round, swept Avalanche, and then swept us. So they only had two losses in the whole um, in the whole playoffs. But we did kind of come in close with them. But yeah, so definitely upsetting but we are still a young team and i'm sure we'll bounce back so take a look we'll take a look at the rewards obviously we won the president's trophy for second year in a row the bruins won the oh that's weird <laughs> i don't know why has the bruins the president's trophy did they win the president's trophy the bruins oh, yeah i think they did so i thought it was tampa again um you see best western conference best eastern conference team Individual awards, Patrick Kane, Art Ross, and Hart. Seems like he had a crazy year. James Norris Trophy, Tony D'Angelo. I had a he was the best one of the best probably the he is the best defensive in the NHL. He had um he had uh, seventy points and he had he was like a plus thirty. Lady Bane went to point, Calder went to Wallstrom, Consmite goes to Dubnik. He had a very good stance. The Vesna went to Flurry, interesting he's in the wild. James went to Flurry. Master Tin goes to Chara. Jack Adams goes to Islander coach Selkie Bergeron. Ted Lindsay Kane, Maurice Richard, um, Alexander Ovechkin. So, yes, those are the rewards. So now we have to get into the off season. Like I said, we're gonna go through the whole off season. I don't know. Obviously, I'm gonna have to. Oh, actually, come into the contract. So, obviously, we have a lot of guys we have to resign. So, you could see I did offer Tony D'Angelo a contract extension. I believe I gave him like a four-year deal worth $10.5 million a year. But really, in this game, he's worth it. He's getting, he has had 70 points the last two years, so we gonna have to, we're going to have to keep him and Ryan Lindgren together. But he was asking for like 11, so I tried it. I think 11 is four, so he might reject. Hopefully, he doesn't, but we're still giving him a lot of money. Um, Riley's probably going to be not going to come back. Goudreau, I'm not so sure yet. Gautchenyuk, no. Rigel, no. Buchnevich, we offered him last episode, I think, two-year, 2.9. So we'll keep Buchnevich. And Adam Fox, I believe I gave him two years at, like, 4.5. Something like that. So he'll still be RFA, I think, after. So might as well go through the draft. I don't really think we have a lot of draft picks. But I actually have... I actually have a couple guys on the train block. I have Morgan Riley on the train block. I want to see if I can maybe somehow trade his rights to a team. Let's see if anybody wants Morgan Riley. Because we might as well get something for him. We get two-thirds for Riley. Two-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds. Joel Edmondson. Okay, so actually teams want want Morgan Riley to possibly get the early uh, negotiation rights. So I think Anaheim, they're okay. Boston, I don't want to trade him to it. I would rather ship him out west. I think Anaheim, just because, you know, I don't want to stack up a team. But he also might not sign with them. But definitely don't want to trade him to Pittsburgh, not Toronto, not eh, Vancouver maybe, because they're not that good. But we get two third-round picks in this year's draft. So, like I said, we don't have the money for Riley. We're going to send him to Anaheim for two third-round picks, at least his rights. So, if we just shipped Riley. We definitely could ship Goudreau, but I'm going to – but Goudreau's value is so bad. I, don't, I guess he's a, maybe he's older. I don't know why. We can still get a fourth and a seventh. We could get Mike Giordano. Fourth and a seventh. So I don't know if we should trade him or we might just hold on to him. Yeah, I think we'll just hold on to Joe because there's a chance we can bring him back, but I'm not totally sure yet. Look at Chris Kreider's value. Damn, I just realized. So I don't think there's really anybody else I want to trade. I, you know what? I could trade. Uh, I could trade. Um, probably Radulov's rights and what's his name. So you might as well do that. We might as well, if anybody wants him. But if we can get some picks for him, because we're automatically not bringing him back, might as well. Anything like in a sixth round, or are we all seventh round? All right, we'll ship him to oh yeah, we'll ship him to Colorado. Seventh round this year, seventh round next year, so that's good. And then we could also send Galchenyuk away, because we're not going to be signing him either. 
Uh, Barbashev I might bring back because I, I still didn't play Barbashev in the NHL, but he could probably fit that third line. Um, teams want just like a seventh round pick. Might as well. Definitely not ship him to the Blues. We'll ship him to Anaheim. At least, you know, we don't know if they have the money, but they're taking the chance of possibly signing him. So, so um, I know we don't have a first round pick. I don't, I think, yeah, we don't have a first round pick. Buffalo wants to trade theirs. Um, let's see who the Dallas Stars take number one. They take a meeting elite two way forward. So we might as well try and see if what Buffalo wants for it. Because if we can maybe get something. Because I'll have to check the, tr the draft. I haven't really checked the draft um, then at all. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Buffalo is still trying to rebuild. And they don't have, um, what's his name? Unless they might. Do they have, um... Wow, Sam Reinhardt's... What do they want Sam Reinhardt? Like, I think, yeah, we could get... we could tra Do we want to make this trade and get Sam Reinhardt's rights? No. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Because Reinhardt, I think, is asking for, like, $10 million. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, I want to actually go back to them and... And see what they want for that first-round pick of theirs. Because, like I said, because it looks like they're just trying to get rid of... Yeah, no trades found because first round picks are so valued. I think we'll just sim, sim to our pick. Looks like in the third round. Uh, we could trade down and get a seventh for next year. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, I just want to see the top pick. So, meaningly two way. Shane. Ro oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. What's. This is ridiculous. Vancouver is going to be so good. How is Van Vancouver? They had the number one pick last year. They picked Atu Ratti, and now they get Shane Wright. Are you kidding me? Look at this: Patterson, Hughes, Ratti, Horvat, Besser, Shane Wright. For oh my god, their offense is ridiculous. And of course, I'm sure what's his name is 80. Yeah. Oh, that disgusts me, Vancouver. You gotta be kidding me. Oh well. Uh, ooh, the Devils gonna meet him. Lead playmaker. Oh, defensive defenseman elite. Wow, there's oh my god, this draft was deep, man. Holy smokes, we would have got a nice medium elite if we made a trade, but whatever. Let's make a trade now. I mean, let's make a trade. Let's make a pick. I'm pretty sure, yeah. The draft is still um still broken, but I think oh we can actually see their uh, games played, so that's pretty cool. Unless I just don't have anybody scouted. But I, I thought I saw something that they were going to fix it. But whatever. It's still a crap shoot. Just going to try to pick. Ooh, this guy is not bad. What is he? 6'4", Samuel Olsen. Yeah, we're kind of deep in the draft. Something to kind of help with. Uh, I think I'm going to take Samuel Olsen, the right wing, 6'4". He's probably going to be a power forward. Hopefully medium top 9. Low top 9 power forward. It's not terrible. Like I said, I mean, oh, we have another third round pick. So we get Lassie Ramo, Canadian defenseman. Uh, let's go with this Finnish defenseman. Low top six, two A. It's not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Could maybe be a trading asset. Third round pick. We have another third round pick. Jeez. No, I don't want Ben Sherrod. Why would I take him on? Frederick Reed. Uh, Al Alexander Kap Kapitanov from Russia. Center, right wing. Ooh. He might be like a medium top nine. Ooh, we have a bust on the top. Um, I'm trying to think, what do we need? Ozzy Westblatt, wasn't he in this last year's draft? Oh, no, that's Oz. Oh, maybe this is his brother or something. They're really similar names. Um, I'm going to go with Andre Benkenov. I'm hoping he's something, because usually the players with faces are not really that good. Low top nine, not terrible, I guess. Simming to the fifth round now. I'm just trying to get through this because I want to go... Oh, we have a low top nine. Center. Might as well take him. I guess that's a good... And he's a playmaker too, so he can maybe be something. 
Sim to our next pick in the seventh round. Looks like it's going to be our last. Might as well try to take a goaltender. No. Ooh, finish goaltender. I always like taking goaltenders in the seventh round, so might as well see if it's something nice. Medium backup. All right, I guess that's not terrible. Oh, we have another seventh round pick. This draft was pretty much crapshoot. Oh, I'll just take Milan, Placanic. Ooh, low top six sniper. That's not bad. We have another seven. Are you kidding me? How many picks? Oh, I guess this is our seventh round pick. Lefty, Ivan Shurokov. Christian Colton Doc. I think that's Kirby Doc's brother. I'm not mistaken. It has to be. Saskatchewan Blades. Yeah, you know what? Let's take Kirby Doc's brother. AHL. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Not really that great. I think that's Kirby Doc's probably. It has to be. Doc. You know, so, drafts is okay. Like I said, we didn't really have the highest picks. And, you know, the, the scouting is still kind of messed up. So, re-sign phase. Let me just re... I always like to take care of this first. Let me just re-sign these scouts. Casperitis. It's funny. Mar oh, Mark Stahl's out. I didn't even know Mark Stahl's on our staff. Okay, Mark Stahl's now one of our scouts. Whatever, I'll take that. Whatever. We don't really have the best scouts, but I mean, like I said, with this team, we don't really need scouts because we're kind of we already have our core, all of our, you know, teams really from. What's it called? Okay. Oh, and also, okay. So it looks like some guys have contracts. So I also signed a lot of AHL guys. So Brandon Smith resigned. Tony the Angel resigned. I believe I gave him four years by ten point five. I'll take a look. Anthony Vieto signs. Buchnevich signs in that two year deal. Adam Fox resigns, okay. Jake Elmer, Greco, Koss, okay. So now we could see who, we still have five, oh, sorry, we have five million in cap space. So let me just see, Tony D'Angelo, we signed him for 10.5, one, two, three, oh, we gave him three years? One, two, three, okay, three years for Tony D'Angelo, I thought we gave him four. Obviously, next year we're going to have to sign Lafreniere, and that might be another $8 million contract. It's going to be not fun. That's why I don't think we can sign Gaudreau long term. Yeah. I think Johnny Gaudreau is as sure is, is gone. I don't think we could bring him back. Um, Buchnevich, what, three years? We should have gave him. Oh, we gave him three. Oh, we gave him three years. We should have gave him one or two. Why did I give him three? Uh, I don't know about that one. Philip Heedle, Adam. Oh, Adam Fox, we gave $5 million. We, Whoa, what? Whoa, I don't know. Now I'm just thinking about Lafreniere. Adam Fox, we gave him five, one, two, three, four, five. Five years by $5 million. Oh, man. Barbashev, we could bring back in a year. I'm going to bring him back one year just to see if maybe he fits their line. Um, I know we have to bring back Brendan Lemieux. Definitely want to do that. Good, I think Andro is just going to be gone. I don't know. So Brendan Lemieux. Yeah, we'll give him one year. Still be an RFA. Ruzitka. We'll give him two years. He might actually crack the lineup. We can maybe put him in. Schneider. Definitely got to sign him to his entry-level contract. Along with Will Cooley. And Oliver Transtrom. They could maybe play the AHL. Okay, goalies, we don't have anything. Kincaid, yeah, we'll bring it back. We need that goalie in the AHL. That's not even Keith Kincaid. And then get, eh, whatever, it's a mean backup, let him walk. Yeah, so I think Johnny Gaudreau is just, he's gone. I don't, there's no way we could bring him back. You know, because like I said, we have to sign Lafreniere next season. Scout resigns, scout resigns, scout resigns. Mew resigns, Barbershev resigns, Keith and Cade, Ruzeka resigns, Cooley signs, Schneider signs, Transom signs. Okay, is that everybody we need to sign? Maybe kids. Unless Junai Gadrill wants three mil four million, I'll give it to him, but all expiring, yeah. Johnny Gadro, I'm sorry. We can maybe look to make I don't know. We can maybe look to move some guys and, you know, bring them back in free agency, but let's just send to free agency, that's gonna be it. I'm hoping that Lafreniere wants only like eight million. He's had like he had what he had sixty five points and seventy points this year, so I'm hoping we could get him. We might have to move. Might have to move Buchnevich now. 
Let's take a look at the free agents. Obviously, Johnny Gaudreau is up there. Alexander Barkov's a free agent. What? John Klinberg, Morgan Riley, of course. Oh, Morgan Riley did not sign with... Uh, who do we turn him to? Anaheim. Gaudreau, of course. Bergeron, Forsberg. Giroux. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Bufflin, Butcher, Giordano. Max Domi. Hmm... Interesting. Ricard Raquel is now a free agent. Galchenyuk didn't sign with Anaheim. Damn. Kubelik, he's got to be a RFA. Dominic Kubelik's a UFA. What? Wow. That's crazy. Hampus Lindholm. Ooh. He could be a pre he could be a good replacement for what's his name. If we want to, even Subban. But yeah, but I don't know. I don't think we need them because we probably what's his name Roberson or um, Roberson or Phil Kessel. Do we want to bring Phil Kessel in for depth scoring? It actually might. It actually might not be a bad sign, Phil Kessel. I'm not gonna lie. Radulov didn't sign uh, either. Niels Lundqvist or Matthew Roberson. I think will make the team next year. Eric Stahl. Fits on the forward line, too, but we don't need a playmaker there. I might... Nick Suzuki, he's got to be RFA. There's no way. I might bring in Phil Kessel. I think he would be a pretty good depth scorer, but I just... I, I got to see. Because he's a sniper. If he would fit on the f third line, then we could put... No, I don't really know. Oh, maybe I could see what... I could actually maybe sign Lafreniere right now. Ooh, okay. We could actually see what Lafreniere wants. Okay. I might do this right now. I might... Oh my god, he wants. Oh, he wants 12 million. I thought it was the other way around. Oh my god, he wants 12 million. Okay, well, we're not far off. We don't got to clear much cap. But let's just take that into consideration. So we have to clear like 4 million in cap to sign Lafreniere. So who is going to be looking to get moved? Um, I mean, maybe just Buchnevich. And maybe Brett Howden. That's five million right there. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of lost. I don't know what we should do. I, I should we just let me just take a look at our team. I don't think I'm gonna really sign anybody. I think I'm just gonna keep. So centers. I think we'll do the same thing. We'll keep Kreider. Morgan Barron. I really don't think fits our team. We can maybe look to trade him. Howden and Heedle. But then we also, I mean, unless we keep them and then we get rid of Heedle, not Heedle, but Howden at least, and then we'll have Ruzicka. I got to see how Barbashev fits too. Oh, Barbashev also, that's a million that we'll take off if he doesn't, you know. Okay, and let me just see left wing. We have Panarin, and we still have right side. Yeah, I don't think, you know what, I don't think we need Kessel. Defensively, like I said, we'll go D'Angelo and probably Lindgren. If we go Truba, Keandre Miller, then either Adam Fox and Matthew Oberson or Adam Fox and Nielsen Lundqvist. One of the two. Branch Snyder will be in the AHL, so we'll look to see. But Branch Snyder's not a defensive defense, and he's a two-way. Same thing with Roberson, same thing. with. So I don't know if a two-way and offensive defense will work, but we'll see. So goalies we still have. Just Durkin locked up for three years. He's down to an 87. He's 26. We gotta see if we get a Malakov. We could probably still look to trade. And Georgiev, we have a really cheap deal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to, I think, just I don't know. I don't really have there's nothing really I want to do. I think we're just gonna send next season. So here are the lines for this new season. So far. We have Artemi Panarin, Zabanjad, Kako. I decided to put Panarin on the top line because both of them both have 80-point seasons, and I feel like we will be a lot better with them on the top line. Still gets plus three. Plus three here. This is an interesting one. Philip Heedle, second-line center with Lafreniere and Kreider. I think he'll benefit tremendously from this. I think he, yeah, he'll he definitely possibly hit 20 goals playing with these two guys. Maybe. Third line, the bottom six is a little something that's in question. We have Morgan Barron, who, like I said, doesn't really fit anywhere except the first line. Which, if we put him, is that a cat now? So, yeah. Then we have Kraftsoff and Buchnevich. 
Still get a plus one, and Lemieux, Howard, and Barbashev gets a plus one. So maybe look to... We might keep this. Like I said, I might move Baron just because he doesn't really fit anywhere else. But we'll leave it for now. If we put him... Yeah, we're only one. Defense. This is where it gets a little interesting. Niels Lundqvist is playing the left side with Tony... I might actually switch them just because... So Tony D'Angelo Niels Lundqvist gets a plus three. Adam Fox, Ryan Lindgren gets a plus one. Adam Fox still is not getting anything except a plus one. And then Keanu Miller and Jacob Chuba is the bottom pair. Scratched, we have Julian Goche, Roberson, and Adam Rositka. Roberson does give the top line playing with D'Angelo a plus three also. But Roberson, he's, his stats are kind of bad. Like 71 D gain, his speed is 81. Shooting's okay, but I just think Neil and Neil Zonkwiz is so much better. So Roberson, I think, is possibly we might trade Roberson, Ruzica, and maybe Gauthier. We might do it right now. I might just do fine trade and get him out of here. Try to get some assets because I just I don't see Roberson because our defense now is um completely um what's it called? It's uh do 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 it's crowded. And I think I actually love our defensive core right now. And I also want Niels Lundqvist playing. I want him, but we also have Braden Schneider coming up. So that's another thing. Before I leave, there's something that I'm just stre I'm kind of stressing over. Now, Alexi Lafreniere now wants $9 million for seven years. I think that is exactly what I want him. I want him at $9 million. So I'm trying to get clear money to do that. For some reason, Buchnevich's value is ridiculous. That's Malakovs. It's like, it's so much. And I think, you know what, he's the odd man out. He doesn't really fit in the bottom six. Now, Vancouver wants to get rid of that two rat D. They want to get rid of basically all their prospects. They want to, it looks like they're going for the cup. So we're going to give them Buchnevich, but we're also going to send them a goal, the medium lead Malakov goaltending prospect. So let me see if this will go through. The values on our side and that two rat would be awesome to get. They still reject it, but we're right there. And I also trade away Gauthier. And, um, oh, but we could trade Roberson. Okay, so we're giving them a lot. And then we're giving them a defenseman who could play in the NHL right now. And we also trade Ruzicka for just draft picks, I think. So we need to take a player, of course, off them now. But I think this might go through. I forgot about Roberson. I didn't want to trade him yet just because I, there was, just wasn't anything there. And he also could play in the NHL. But now we give them... Because they get Buchnevich, because Ratti, obviously, I guess, hasn't cracked the lineup yet. They don't really know what he's going to be or something like that. And also, so we give them Roberson, who definitely will, yeah, help them out. Their defense is... What do they got? They have Quinn Hughes, Taves, Stetcher, Edmondson, Schmidt, Tyler Myers, Hugh Levy. We'll give them another defenseman to go with that. And then on the right side, Besser, Vertanen, Neal. Is that James Neal? And then they'll have... Um, Buchnevich, or even put him on the left side to help out the left side because they really need help on the left side. And Ratti, I guess they just don't maybe have trust in. I don't think he hit the line, cracked the lineup last year. So we'll, this will give us Ratti, Ratti, guy we never had before, and I think it would be fun to get him. So the trade's going to go through. So let's do it. Ratti, had, since he's a two-way, don't know, really know where he's going to fit, but we'll have to find something. But we get Ratti, Ratti from Vancouver. Now, what I'm curious to see if now, because some reason the cap wasn't updating. So, I just want to see now. Send Sheffield down. We don't need him. I don't care. Now I have to. I, I still haven't really edited um the power plays yet. So let me just put in Ratty where Buchnevich is playing. Also, we can see where Ratty fits. He fits on the top line. Ooh, playing with Kako. Interesting. Okay, but we'll have to. I'll look and see where we could fit Ratti in. But now let me see if we could finally offer Lafreniere that extension, because it was seven years for like basically nine million on the dot. That is exactly what I want for him. Yes. So we could finally, we finally give him that. So we give him eight years at nine point five. But let's play it safe. We'll get him at seven for nine exactly. And I'm sure he's gonna accept it. Next episode, we'll see because we're we have our first game already on hand, and I don't want to simulate. Actually, we'll sim maybe simulate a day. No, okay. So we'll wait and see if he accepts. He probably will. We have that ready now, so I'll see if how I'll see how we can maybe incorporate him in the lineup. So we'll see you guys.